All right, today we are going to see how much we weigh. The way that we're going to do that is, well, actually, we're not going to. It's a two-parter. Yeah, we're not going to see how much we weigh today. <laughs> see how um, much the truck We're going to see how, the goal is to see how much the RV weighs. Well, how much we're carrying. Exactly. That's our goal. So the, to do that, the first thing we have to do is we have to weigh the truck. Mm -hmm. Now, you could look up online to see how much your truck weighs through the manufacturer, but we got the hitch, you got gas on board, all that stuff. So we yeah. want to see exactly how much the truck weighs. And then on travel day, we'll hook up the fifth wheel and then we'll pull back onto the, the scale. We'll get our weight and then we'll deduct the truck weight from today from the total weight on travel day. Yeah. And that will give us exactly what our weight is. And we'll see how close we are from our dry weight to our carrying capacity or our max weight. And that'll kind of give us an idea how much our stuff weighs. Yes. So we have the the Weigh My Truck app from Cat, and uploaded that this morning. And all you have to do is upload that app, select, uh, you have to set up an account, select your payment, and then you go into the app, and then you just actually drive onto the scale. You pay on your phone, mm -hmm. and then you leave, and that's it. Yeah. So it's a pretty easy process. Sounds simple. We'll see. Yeah. And that cost us twelve dollars. <laughs> and when we come back, it'll cost us another twelve dollars. But so for total twenty four dollars. But you really do need to know how much your RV weighs. Yeah, especially if you think you're close. So we'll find out on travel day yeah. if we're close. Well, we are in High Point, North Carolina, yeah. which is the furnishings capital of the world. <laughs> if you have High Point furniture in your house, it came from right here in High Point, North Carolina. Yeah. And as you can see behind us. It is the world's largest chest of drawers. Yes. It's pretty big. And, um, and those socks, I don't know if they're the largest, but they're pretty big too. <laughs> That's a big uh, it's, it's crazy because it's just out here on the street. It, it is pretty random the location. There's a building behind it, which may be like a business. I don't know. But it's just no out in the street. It mm -hmm. doesn't even have a sign next to it. No. There's no signs. But many of people told us we had to come here. So, so we did. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's all I got to say about <laughs> that. <laughs> so we'll take some pictures and put it on our social media, but we just figured we'd show you the world's largest check it out for chest of drawers. <laughs> Today we're at the Guilford's Courthouse Military National, National Military Park. Park. <laughs> <laughs> Revolutionary War Battleground. <laughs> well, there's a little audio tour out here, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. so you can dial up the number and then you hit the number, whatever stop you're in. Yeah. Give you a little history of the stuff. Um, the two different maps, though. Yeah. We took off with the paper map, a map, and it had different numbers from the from the one we took a picture of on the billboard. On the billboard at the at the parking lot, because we learned our lesson in Augusta. <laughs> you always take a picture of the map yeah. Yeah. from now on, and we did that, and then yeah. we still didn't understand because stuff wasn't lining up. And then we so we saw a park ranger. And we said, "Is there a is there a map?" And she gave us a map, a paper map. And it didn't line up with the picture that we took, mm -mm. but the stops line up with the picture that we took and not yeah. the paper map. So the paper map is useless. <laughs> Catching all this. Hey, look, if you come to the Guilford <laughs> Military Courthouse, Guil Army Court Military National, National military thing, <laughs> take a picture of the thing. Don't get a paper map. That's the lesson to be uh, learned here. Okay, <laughs> to sum it up. Use the billboard map. There you go.
Um, so we went to the North Carolina Zoo, which is here in Asheboro, North mm -hmm. Carolina. Um, pass. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that. Um, yeah, if you ever get I was it, let down. It was a little disappointing, but we didn't get the complete experience. I don't think it would have mattered. A lot, about... A quarter. Yeah, about a quarter of the stuff. Anything indoor was closed. So, you know, like the reptile room, the butterfly habitat... The, the aviary. The, yeah. Yeah, the aviary. Um, there were some like indoor ish underground viewing areas of some habitats that were closed. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we've been to zoos several times and, and done zoos in several yeah. of our videos, but um, I was kind of looking forward to the North Carolina Zoo. Yeah. And, um, there's, well, there's way, way more like just nature walk with the animals. And it's long distance between animals. Yeah. What really threw me off. And it was off, hot. It so was a hot. lot of the animals didn't move. <laughs> yeah. What really threw me off at the beginning was, I mean, we knew that we had to buy our tickets in advance. Mm -hmm. Their ticket office was closed. You got to come at a scheduled time, time that you bought your ticket. Yeah. For social distancing and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. We're cool with that. Um, what I wasn't cool with was, and what, what triggered me to... to start having a not so good day at the zoo was they weren't checking anything they weren't checking mm -hmm. bags they yeah. weren't checking they had no metal detectors and i i left my weapon in the truck because because normally you, you can't bring those you things. can't bring those things and i figure well it, they're checking everybody so i can i can be i can live be a little easier because i know people have been checked so now I'm in a crowded place. But I don't. I know no one's been checked, and I don't have my weapon. So I was kind of like more focused on other things than recording and vlogging. So I apologize if the footage was not as great as it normally is. <laughs> I was a little distracted. Yeah. Well, a lot of the viewing areas of the animals has very limited visibility on. You know, like they have a big boulder here and a big mm -hmm. boulder here, and you can see like through this part. You know, and yeah. they're just camped out talking checking their phone and i'm like um i want to see the animals too so and you social distance since you're standing there <laughs> and you're trying to you're trying to be nice you're, you're waiting your turn i'm waiting my turn to see the monkeys you know and they're over there and and, and you don't know, and i don't i'm i'm not super uncomfortable with people being close to me but i don't know how yeah. other people are yeah so you don't want to like scooch up on them like <laughs> trying to bump them out of the way so you can see your monkeys you know because they'd be like dude social distance social distance you know right <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> today we are at the transportation museum in north carolina yeah and as you can see it is jamming <laughs> man it's hard to find a parking spot out here yeah outdoor stuff only the museum is closed you can go in the gift shop, yeah, but not the museum. Yeah. You Everything can see the else outside is outside. Exhibits. Train rides are closed, so I'm bummed about that deal. <laughs> Looking forward to a train ride. Yeah. I mean, who would like a train ride? Mm -hmm.
probably barely see it behind us. <laughs> it's the Mercy Train yeah. for North Carolina. We've talked about this before because we saw the one in Alabama. Yeah. And then we saw the one in Louisiana. Louisiana. Every state that was a state at the time, at the time received yeah. a boxcar train from France yes. for the United States helping them in the World Wars. Yeah. And so we've now seen this is our third one. Yeah. And after we saw the first one, I never thought that we'd ever see a second one. Yeah. And we had no idea that this is where North Carolina uh, was. I uh, know. We hadn't researched it's not where they are. This is the spinny, aroundy thingy. Yeah, that's the technical name. Yeah, the spinny, roundy thingy. So Turntable. you can't just bust you in a train. <laughs> no, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta find you a spinny, round thingy. That's where you, you get your engine onto the deal, and it spins you around and shoots you back in whatever direction you need to get get going in. Or if they were storing you. Yeah, there's several different little bays directions to go yeah. on this deal and um that's pretty cool to see normally you get to ride on the spinning around thingy yeah <laughs> not today <laughs> Well, it's a pretty cool place. It was cool. A lot cooler than what I thought it was going to be. And it's only three bucks to get in. Yeah. And it's still only three bucks to get in even when everything's open. So when it's, when it's open, it's definitely worth coming to see because there's a lot that we didn't get to see. So, yeah. But like we said before, they did a great job. Yes. Of letting you see as much as they could let you see. Mm -hmm. Without you being able to go inside the places. So yeah, um, didn't sacrifice a whole, whole lot. Yeah. And what I didn't realize was um, they had a lot of displays of uh, Norfolk Southern. Yeah. And so I, I had a friend that we worked with in Germany when we were stationed there and his father worked for Norfolk Southern for 30 years, retired from there. And then when he retired, asked me to burn his dad a plaque for his retirement. So I did. Yeah. And we'll show you that. Yeah. And and then one of his co-workers was retiring. Yeah. And one and one. So I burned one yeah. for him, too. So I ended up burning two Norfolk Southern uh, plaques. Yeah. yeah. And so it's cool to actually see the trains because yeah. I had just seen them in pictures and and burned it from a picture but now seeing them in person is really cool yeah it was cool yeah so um another connection yeah another connection <laughs> to north carolina and norfolk southern yeah <laughs> cool place <laughs> worth seeing yeah you if should you're definitely if you're in there you should go see it all right it's time to go get a frosty yes because it's hot oh thank you <laughs> <laughs> hey uh this rv made me look fat <laughs> We well, got a big RV. <laughs> put my stuff in it. <laughs> we, as you saw in the beginning of the video, we um, we weighed our RV for the first time. Mm -hmm. Well, we weighed our truck. Yeah, first we weighed the for truck. the first time, and we went back. We didn't film it because there was people in line. Yeah. And it was kind of crazy there. It so was a busy truck stop. But we did. We went back on travel day, and we weighed the truck and RV together. Yeah. The truck and the RV together weighed a total of 23,900 pounds. That's a lot of weight. It's a lot. So of we're weight. trucking down down the road with about 24,000 pounds worth of stuff, truck yeah. and trailer and everything. Which sounds like a lot, but it's really not terrible because if you take into consideration the dry weight of the RV mm -hmm. is um, 12,000 okay. pounds. Yeah. And then the truck weighed in at, at 9,200 pounds. So that told us that our stuff weighs 2,700 pounds. Yeah. And that's everything that was in there. We had some water in there still. We, yeah, we had water on board. To slosh around the black tank to clean it out while we were traveling. Uh, of course, you got your washer, dryer. Mm -hmm. You got all your clothes, all your stuff. So that's really 2,700 pounds is not a lot. Because our carry capacity is 4351. Yeah. 
almost 4,400 pounds. Yeah. So if you take away the weight of our stuff, which is 2,700 pounds, they're down around 16, well, it's exactly 1651 <laughs> is how much more weight we could we put could in put. it. Yeah, we're not going to. I don't think we could. <laughs> We don't have enough space to put another 1,600 no, pounds worth of stuff in there. Where that could even come but from. But it's good to know. It is good to know. That we are slim and trim right. and fit. Only in the RV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was super easy. We got this Way My Truck app by Cat. Yeah. And um, when you pull in there, you click on the app. It finds you uh, via your GPS location. Yeah. Now, I really recommend before you go, setting up a payment method yeah because i did, you not, did not do that <laughs> and we set that luckily when we weighed the truck no one was in line yeah so we so we were able it. to download or not download uh, we were able to set up the payment the method yeah and then you drive onto the scale it finds you by gps it weighs your stuff and then it sends you an email actually an invoice a printout of how much your stuff weighs yeah it's pretty cool so now it's on the app our payment method is set up so we can weigh our stuff at any time yeah. Um, if we do get a new RV for whatever reason, we can weigh that too. Yeah. Well, now we're wrapping up the Winston-Salem, High Point, Greensboro, Asheboro, North Carolina area. <laughs> what area? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, North Carolina has been fun so far. Yes. And um, loving the Carolinas. It was a two-week stay here in Winston-Salem. Mm-hmm. Which is our our last two weeks stay for a while. For a while, yeah. Yeah, and we're headed up to uh, Virginia for mm -hmm. a couple weeks, over Delaware for a week. Yeah. And then back down into North Carolina, South Carolina, yeah. coastal. Yeah, all coastal. Because we've been inland, kicking over. We kick well, in South Carolina, we're kicking in. We are kicking back in South Carolina. We have friends in Charlotte that we'll see there. We're kicking in for special reasons. And then kicking back out to the coast. Yeah. And then headed down coastal Georgia into Florida. And then doing the the Florida tour for the winter. Yeah. Still the plan. Still planning on hitting the Tampa Super RV show in January. Mm-hmm. Excited about that. Yes. We are already in planning mode for the next calendar year. Yes. And we made good progress. We did, and we've actually whether we get to keep that route or not is <laughs> yeah. a whole nother story. But we like the route we drew up for ourselves. Yeah, I think it's a good plan. We're not going to tell you because <laughs> so as soon rude. as we tell you, something will happen. Yeah, and no it'll change. It. And then I'll tell you again. I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to change, but hopefully not drastic. Hopefully, any changes are minor. I hope not. And we are going to. I like the route. Yeah, we're going to pass back through some areas that we did we had to skip over. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to hit those areas. Mm -hmm. Those like coastal Florida, Panhandle yeah. areas, and then headed back west toward uh, New Orleans. Yeah. A couple of those places. But we had a great time here in Winston-Salem. Mm -hmm. There was so much to see. I'm glad we stayed two weeks. Yes, we needed the two weeks. If everything would have been open, I don't know what we would have done. Oh, my God. We would have had to choose what not to see because yeah. we were busy seeing stuff, even though stuff was closed. Close. Yeah. Because the stuff that was open, there was plenty of enough stuff to do to keep us busy for two weeks. Yeah. And we met up with some great people. We met a lot of cool people while we were here. <laughs> yeah, we were busy meeting up with people, man. It was hard to leave them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, met up with uh, fellow YouTubers mm -hmm. and uh, subscribers, subscribers and uh, had some cookout. And um, Leslie had her very first homemade ice cream experience. <laughs> yeah. What did you think about that? It was great. Yeah. Yeah, way better than I expected. Very refreshing. So I always set my bar low. <laughs> <laughs> that way I don't disappoint myself. <laughs> yeah, and I haven't had a homemade ice cream since I was a little kid. Yeah. So it was a good experience for me also. Yeah. And it was uh, fun to watch because you know, never yeah. having it before. It was interesting to me. Good food, good company. Uh, mm -hmm. We're a little sad to be leaving North Carolina, but we're going to be heading back down through here. So we'll yeah. see some more of it. Mm -hmm. But now, yeah, first in flight is North Carolina, mm -hmm. and now we're there to Virginia, and Virginia is for lovers. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> hmm? Oh, help me. <laughs> Scout loved it here. Scout had a blast here. Eating bees? He's a bee slayer. Yeah. He saw me with, like... The ducks? He saw the ducks? <laughs> I'm going to miss my ducks. Yeah, Leslie's been feeding the ducks every day. Mm-hmm. And now they're like bread junkies. They, they are. They, they, they come back they're, every day. They're the three little stooges 
of <laughs> duck. <laughs> they waddle up to There's it. a small, medium, and a large. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and they do. They come walking right up to the door. <laughs> yeah, and yesterday we went out fishing. There's a little pond out here. And we went out fishing, and um, you brought the bread just in case. Just in I'm case like, we ducks saw aren't going to come out there. But here they come. They, were, they recognize Leslie. We're out on the pier. They landed right they in landed the water. They landed in the water and, and swam right over. over to her. And <laughs> she was feeding them in the yeah. in the water. I think they enjoyed it in the water more because they could like Cause s sog up the bread soggy, a little bit. Yeah. And, and it was it easier to eat. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, some. But yeah, we, um, we're we going to miss North Carolina for now. But we'll be back in about three four weeks. Three, yeah, something <clears> like that. Looking forward to seeing the coastal part of it. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing coastal anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's my happy place. <laughs> Need to see the water. Yeah. Um, well, I think that's about it, huh? Yes. Cool. Well, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.